Hi, we're looking at the Launch C Reader V uh, Advanced OBD2 Diagnostics Tool. All right, first thing we're going to do is just uh, go here to the read codes. And uh, right now, the unit's basically interfacing with our vehicle uh, to determine um, you know, why the check engine light is on and what trouble codes we have. Okay, so we can see here that it's coming up one of nine codes, and it gives us both the um, like full numerical definition. And uh, when it's a non-vehicle specific code, like a generic code um, designated by law, it also gives us that definition. Uh, just by using the down arrow, we can scroll through and see all of the different trouble codes. You know, it also supports like U, which I think are like UART, um, B, which are a type of body, and C, which are chassis um, codes. And you know, not all units uh, support the extended functionality, so it's, this is definitely a um, something you want to look into. Um, we can erase the codes after we've corrected the repairs. And we can also view freeze frame data. Uh, what this tells us is when the trouble code went off, you know, the coolant temperature was 40 Celsius and, you know, the engine RPM was um, where it was. So that's always, you know, helpful to know um, just basically what was going on uh, when there was a problem with the vehicle. Uh, data stream allows us to view um, all the different sensors of the vehicle in real time. So we can actually come through here and view what the engine load is, what's going on with the different oxygen sensors, and this really helps us troubleshoot um, different things, see what the, vehicle, the engine loading is right now, uh, these fuel trims. Um, so all of this is just great for troubleshooting uh, the vehicle because you can find out you know, exactly what's going on or exactly what the engine computer is receiving. A custom data list allows us to come through here and actually graph it. So if we wanted to look at like coolant temperature, then we've got you know, coolant temperature and you know, it actually makes a little graph. So that's kind of nifty. Um, we can go back. The unit supports a lot of um, special tests, which are on newer, like 2008, 2009, and you know, will be on newer models. Um, unfortunately, our test vehicle isn't that new, so we can't view all of the things. Um, I am ready. This will tell us basically if the vehicle is ready for, um, you know, inspection. We can also go uh, look and see mill status, which basically will tell us if the check engine lights on, which in our case it is, and. Uh, we can do these different tests for oxygen sensor and evaporative system. Um, none of this our vehicle supports. I mean, we can click on one and then it'll just say, you know, it's not supported for our vehicle. Um, code lookup allows us to manually look up um, a trouble code. So if we wanted to go in here and look up like P100, you know, it'll give us the definition of that code. We can also go back, uh, tool setup. Um, so it seems like, you know, um, like our unit's stuck in metric right now. We can come in here and change it to USA. Um, we can change the four different languages. And of course we can, you know, gather information about the software. Um, of course this unit can be um, easily updated um, with a uh, like USB port right here. And all of the, um, you know, the cable's included and it's really easy to uh, update the firmware over the internet. All right, so there you go. That's the Launch Seeder V Advanced OBD2 uh, Diagnostic Scanner.